Talking AI avatars, just like me, are great for creating tons of tutorial videos, social media content, and spicing up your presentations. But sadly, until now, we felt stiff and emotionless. I'm so excited! Because now, lifelike avatars that show emotions are now possible. And we're free! So, do you want to know how to create one? Okay, enough from the avatar. Let's jump into the tutorial. You're going to learn the step-by-step -step process for building one of those emotional avatars. I'll then show you exactly where you need to go in Synthesia to do all of that for free. And finally, I'll give you some extra tips on how to make your avatars as lifelike and emotional as possible at the end. Let's get started. So building one of those emotional avatars is really easy if you do it right. You just need to follow this process. So you need to start by clicking on new video up here. And then once you've clicked blank video, you'll see a empty canvas like this with an avatar character over here. We can drag to move her around and I'll show you how to select one of the new emotional avatars in just a second. But first we need an emotional script to paste in this script box down here to give our avatar a range of emotions to run through when she's talking. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate one of these emotional scripts for your avatar in seconds. For this example, I'll take this news article on Elon Musk's spaceship and turn it into an emotional news report video to show you how you can quickly put together breaking news videos. But obviously, you can type in any emotional script that you want. So by just copying the text from the article, pasting that article into ChatGPT, Telling ChatGPT that we want that news article turned into an emotional opinionated script read in the first person. ChatGPT then gives us our emotional script that our avatar can read covering the breaking news. Cool. So the emotionally charged script is in there and ready to go. I'll run you through how to make your avatar emotional when they read the script in just a second. But first, let's check out the avatars that you can choose from because you need to choose the right avatar to make sure that you're getting one of these new emotional ones and not just one of the old robotic avatars. So when choosing which avatar to use from this list, you need to make sure you're using one with one of these diamond purple squares next to them. Let's choose Ada. They're the only avatars that have this new expressive technology built into them. And then you also need to make sure you're choosing an emotional voice. So if we click down here to choose from the voices, same again, just make sure you choose a voice that has that purple diamond in a square next to it. Cool. So how do we program in the emotions? How do we make the avatar actually show the emotions when they're talking? This is obviously really important. So let me show you how this works. So if we look at the script, this technology is amazing because it actually studies the script that you type in to this box down here. And Synthesia's technology automatically understands what emotions are suitable at any time in the script. So for example, there's a question mark at the end of this sentence. So Synthesia is going to know this is a question. And if we play this sentence... But why stop there? you'll see that the avatar automatically shows curiosity when it's reading this part. This sentence here says it's an exciting time inside it. And if we play this... It's an exciting time to be alive, folks. The avatar sounds excited. The technology is applying emotion to the avatar automatically without us having to do any extra work. So you might notice that the video is looking really blank at the moment. We've just got a blank white background. We can manually add in any images, video, or even there's a text option here to add in our own text to quickly give this video the look and feel that we want it to have. All those additions can also be added automatically by Synthesia. I'll run you through how to do that in a little bit. But first, let me run you through how to get access to these emotional avatars for free. Using the link in the description to this video, you'll be able to set up a free account on Synthesia by clicking this button right here. And you can choose from some of the expressive avatars. I think it's just three. I think it's just Alex, Ada, and Joshua. The rest of them you can only get when you're on the paid plan. But you can start with just one of these three free avatars. 
that's pretty good for a free plan if you ask me. And finally, I said I'd give you some tips on how to get the most from these emotional avatars. I'm going to jump into how to squeeze out as much emotion as you can. But first, I'll just give you a quick time saving tip. If you click up here to AI Video Assistant, rather than going through all those steps with ChatGPT and adding in text and images yourself, you can just paste a link to any website in this box and then press this generate video button down here and the platform will automatically create a script for you, bring in any supporting graphics and any text and just do all of that for you in one click, which is mind blowing. But that's only available on the paid plan. Okay, jumping back into the free version, if we click this button here on any video we've generated, you can download just the avatar's audio for people that just want like an emotional voiceover and they don't want to download the whole visuals of the avatar. You can just do the audio here. Cool, and now let's jump into some tips on how to get the most emotion from these avatars. Here's an article that I found from Synthesia on their website that gives us tips. I'll put a link to this article in the description below. And from this, we can see that there's a range of emotions we can expect from the avatars. We can get enthusiasm, encouragement, empathy, curiosity, urgency, uncertainty, and, and finally, we can get happiness and sadness. So those are emotions to think about when you are writing your script, like you know that those emotions can be brought out with your avatar. And we've got some tips on punctuation to use to bring these emotions out. So, you know, we can use exclamation marks for excitement, question marks to get some curiosity from our avatars. We can use these three dots and a question mark to sort of show a bit of uncertainty. And you can even use old school emojis to get like happiness and sadness. That link to the article with all of those tips will be in the description to this video, along with the link to get your free Synthesia account set up so you can make these emotional avatars yourself. They're going to help us make videos that are cheap, have consistent presenters across every video that we make, and also just save us a ton of time. I mean, you saw an example of that with that AI web link feature. We're saving time there making videos that usually would take us like hours to do it ourselves. So this stuff really excites me. And with this additional emotional stuff that we're seeing from the avatars, they're just becoming more and more realistic and lifelike, which is going to help our viewers just get more immersed in the videos, more engaged and less likely to click off. So really solid stuff that we're seeing from these avatars and from Synthesia. Make sure to set up your avatar for free by using that free link in the description to the video. Thank you a ton to Synthesia for supporting me by partnering with me on this video. I really appreciate it. And obviously, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more AI tool tips like this one.